Hola amigos, welcome to this session. In the last class, we learned to talk about how to identify people of different types. Today, we are going to talk about customs in different countries, what one can do or what one cannot do at a particular place. Let's start today's lesson with an expression. ¿Qué se puede hacer o no se puede hacer en tu casa? What one can do or cannot do at your place. Suppose you invite your best friend to your place. There are certain rules and regulations that are to be followed at your place. If your friend asks you this expression, how would you respond to him? You can say, Se puede comer muy bien en mi casa. One can eat very well at my place. No se puede fumar ni beber alcohol en mi casa. One cannot smoke nor drink at my place. No se puede gritar mucho. One cannot scream. Have you understood this? No? Let me explain you the use of this structure with the verb poder. The use of pronoun se here is impersonal. It is used to talk about things, people and customs in general and not about any person in particular. Your answer also means smoking and drinking alcohol is prohibited at your place. This is something in general. It's not particular about anyone. I hope you understand this. Don't you? Muy bien. No se puede entrar con zapatos. One cannot enter with shoes on. Now, suppose your friend invites you to his or her house and you ask him the same question. How would he reply? Can you guess? Suppose smoking and drinking is not prohibited and you can enjoy high volume music, what will he say? Well, he can say, se puede fumar y beber en mi casa. También se puede escuchar música en volumen alta. That is, one can smoke and drink at my place. One can also listen to music on high volume. ¿Has entendido? Have you followed? Yes, muy bien. Now you can talk about things that one can do or one cannot do in your own country. Suppose you have a Spanish friend and he's planning to visit India. He doesn't know norms and customs of our country. Therefore, he asks you certain questions. The first expression he asks is, ¿Qué no se puede hacer en lugares públicos? What one cannot do at public place. ¿Entiendes el significado de lugares públicos? It means public places. Can you respond to this? Why don't you give it a try? Well, it is not accepted to give kisses on both the cheeks of female friends in India. For this, you can say, No se puede besar en las mejillas de las chicas o mujeres para saludar. Suppose you have to say that smoking and drinking is prohibited. One cannot kiss and one cannot spit at public places. How will you say using the structure? Well, you say, No se puede fumar ni beber. No se puede besar y no se puede escupir. ¿Sabes qué significa escupir? No? Well, escupir is to spit. One more example is, no se puede salir en ropas cortas por la noche. One cannot go out at night in shorts. 
Another expression that your friend may ask you is, ¿Qué se puede ver en tu ciudad? What can one see in your city? If you want to say that there are many things to see, for example, one can see live music concerts, you can say, se puede ver los conciertos vivos de música. You can also tell about other things to see, for example, se puede visitar museos, monumentos bonitos y el zoo. I hope you understand the meaning of these words, don't you? Excelente. In case you don't remember, monumentos is monuments, monumentos históricos is historical monuments. Se pueden visitar los mercados tradicionales. The traditional markets of the city can be visited. Let me give you one more example which looks the same but use of se here is different and verb poder can be singular and plural. Atención, here the use of poder verb is in plural with se. This se plus the verb in the third person singular or plural is used as reflexive passive. La pasiva refleja. Here the subject is the direct object of the active voice sentence and the verb agrees with it. Por ejemplo, no se pueden llevar perros. No se puede poner la música fuerte. Be careful not to get confused the reflexive passive voice with impersonal sentences. Impersonal sentences do not have a subject. Por ejemplo, no se puede fumar aquí. That is, one cannot smoke here. Now, you can ask your friend about the norms and customs in his or her country. You can use the same expression, que se puede o no se puede hacer en tu país. Suppose your friend is Spanish, he will tell you about their customs. For example, se puede pasear por las calles toda la noche. One can take a walk on the streets the whole night. Se puede besar en los parques. One can kiss in the parks. Se puede bailar toda la noche en los bares. One can dance whole night in the bars. Now, the things that one cannot do is, En mi país no se puede preguntar en una fiesta cuánto gana la gente. You got these verbs? Cuánto gana la gente? That is, in my country, one cannot ask in a party how much people earn. Also, there are other things that one cannot do. For example, it's not considered accepted to ask girls their age. Spitting is prohibited. Smoking is prohibited at public transports and parking everywhere is also not allowed, for example, in Spain. Let's have examples of each prohibited or not accepted actions using the structure that we are learning today. Por ejemplo, no se puede preguntar la edad a las mujeres. One cannot ask the age of women. This is also the case in your country. No se puede escupir en todas partes. One cannot spit everywhere. No se puede llamar por teléfono 
a las casas particulares después de las 10. You cannot call someone particularly after 10 at night. No se puede fumar en los medios de transporte públicos. You cannot smoke in public transport. No se pueden aparcar coches en las calles. You cannot park or one cannot park cars anywhere on the road. We will see some more expressions now. Since you are a student of Spanish language, you must be aware of some class rules. In your class of Spanish, there are some rules that one has to follow. If a new student asks you, ¿Qué se puede hacer y qué no se puede hacer en la clase de español? What would you reply? Do you remember things that cannot be done in the Spanish class? You can say many things. Let's take, for example, if one can speak Spanish in the class, you say, se puede hablar español. Another thing that one can do in the class is, se pueden preguntar dudas. Doubts can be asked. If you want to say one can participate in the class activities, how would you say? Well, you can try. Yes, it is se puede participar en las actividades de la clase. And there are many things that cannot be done in the class. Do you remember? Do you know how you can say this? We have seen some expressions in negative earlier in the lesson. Suppose your teacher doesn't allow you to speak other languages in the class or you are not allowed to use mobile phone and talk. How will you say using the expressions that we are practicing today? Well, you can start with No se puede hablar Hindi o Bangla o Frances en la clase de español. Mobile phones are also prohibited in classes. You too are not allowed to use it. Can you say this in Spanish? Go ahead. Try to say that. You, you know how to say that, right? No se puede usar teléfono móvil. One cannot use mobile phone. Some other prohibitions in the Spanish classes are no se puede charlar, no se puede llegar tarde a clase, one cannot reach late to the class, no se puede beber y comer en la clase. So you have seen that we can use the structure to talk about things that are prohibited or permitted to do at certain places. Let us see some other expressions that are used to ask about norms and rules of some parks. For example, suppose your friend asks you about the rules of the park. ¿Qué no se puede hacer en un parque de tu ciudad? You remember the word ciudad? Yes, ciudad is city. How would you respond to him? You know that there are many things that are not allowed to do in the parks. If you want to say that eating, kissing, smoking, running fast and playing big games like football or cricket are not allowed, how will you say this? Try. Yes, you can. Go on. You can say no se puede llevar comida al parque. You cannot take food to the park. No se puede besar. One cannot kiss. No se puede echar la basura. One cannot throw trash everywhere. No se puede fumar. No se puede 
acampar o dormir en el parque. That is, one cannot camp or sleep in the park. No se puede correr en algunos parques, pero se puede pasear. One cannot run in some parks, but one can take a walk. Do you now understand the structure? Pero means but, used here as a connector to join two sentences together. No se puede jugar al fútbol o cricket en la hierba. One cannot play football and cricket on the grass. There's also one thing that one cannot do. No se pueden entrar con mascotas. You cannot enter with pets. Vamos a practicar más expresiones después un poquito. Now let's talk about what one can do at a family gathering in India. Let me ask you certain questions that you may have to reply. Por ejemplo, ¿qué se puede hacer en una fiesta de familia? ¿Entiendes la pregunta? Do you understand the question? ¿Recuerdas las cosas que se hace en la fiesta en la India? Try to say what one can do or cannot do at a family party. What are the general customs? If you want to say that one can gift something, you can say, se puede llevar los regalos. Se puede cantar y bailar. Se puede ayudar en la cocina. One can help in the kitchen. In India, unlike Spain, it is not accepted to gift a wine bottle in a party. Therefore, you can say, no se puede llevar botella de vino. In Spain, it is very popular among friends. If you are invited by a Spanish friend and family, you can take a wine bottle as a gift. But this is not accepted in India. In India, generally parties happen to be with family, but you cannot smoke or drink in family gathering. No se puede fumar ni beber alcohol. Now you can ask your Spanish friend about what one can do at the family gathering in Spain. ¿Qué se puede hacer en una fiesta familiar? Se puede regalar una botella de vino. Se puede ayudar en la cocina. In Spain, it is normal drinking, smoking and dancing at all parties. Se puede bailar con cualquiera mujer. One can dance with women. Generally in India, people leave some part of the meal in the plate. This is not seen in many parts of the world. No se puede Dejar la comida en el plato. No se puede hablar del trabajo, sino disfrutar. Normally, one cannot talk about work while partying. Today, we have learned several expressions what one can do and one cannot do in different situations like in a family, in a country, in a park, in a party. So I hope you have understood some customs and norms that are followed in Spain and how you would explain it to a Spanish friend. Practice them. That's all for today. Muchas gracias. Adios. Ciao.